are so happy to be standing here on this stage as proud country. In the impending election between the convicted former president and vice president Kamala Harris, Amber Rose is unwaveringly on Donald Trump's side. Welcome back, it's your host Nancy Brown. If you are new here, make sure you have subscribed to our YouTube channel. She spoke about her support for number 45 and her opposition to the Democratic Party's nominee at the Republican National Convention earlier this year. However, the model experienced a sense of deja vu when she heard Beyonce speak at a protest in Houston, Texas. She wanna be me so bad. Literally took my whole speech regarding the superstar's statements, she asserted in an Instagram comments area. It seems to be related to their remarks about motherhood. We are at the precipice of an incredible shift, the brink of history. I'm not here as a celebrity. I'm not here as a politician. I'm here as a mother. Here's an excerpt of Amber Rose's RNC speech. Most importantly, I'm a mother. My whole world revolves around providing for my children, keeping them safe, and giving them an opportunity for a better life. That's something that unites all American parents. Whether we're Republicans, Democrats, conservatives, or liberals, we we all want a better country for our children. Jay-Z, I know you're watching, got people calling me. After claiming that Jay-Z and Beyonce contacted him in response to widely circulated claims regarding their friendship with Diddy, Jason Lee posted a scathing rebuttal to the couple. Stop having people call me. You can call me yourself. You know how to get my number. You know, you, you got people calling me. Lee discussed the subject on his show, saying he hasn't even discussed it and is therefore perplexed as to why they have contacted him. Call me yourself, because this right here is going to go viral. Lee said, before reflecting on his past as a super fan of Beyonce. But I will tell you to the audience, if I do come up missing, all the calls I've been getting been about him. Concluded by clarifying that he hasn't actually received any threatening calls. Lee is not alone in the media if Jay-Z and Beyonce's crew have been calling him. Piers Morgan recently disclosed that he was contacted by Alex Spiro, the iconic artist's lawyer, over an interview he had done with Jaguar Wright. Although Wright has established herself as a Hav critic, her largest platform to yet was Piers Morgan Uncensored. Using it, she referred to the co-founder of Rock Nation as a monster and associated him with dubious men. Unsurprisingly, Jay-Z and Beyoncé took legal action. On October 8, Piers Morgan spoke to his audience and explained the circumstances. He attested that Wright's audacious accusations were silenced by Jay-Z and Beyoncé sending a cease and desist. Their lawyers contacted us to say that those claims were totally false and have no basis in fact. Morgan then stated that he had agreed to comply with their legal request to cut Wright's allegations from the aired interview. Editing interviews is not something we do lightly, at a show called Uncensored, the journalist admitted. But there are legal limits on us too. Piers Morgan then took the opportunity to apologize to the power couple live. We apologize to Jay-Z and Beyonce, he asserted. It makes complete sense why the couple would take legal action against Piers Morgan. But the Jaguar Rights interview has actually lots of notable reactions from people in the industry. Ray J took to social media to call out Wright's decision to go on Piers Morgan uncensored, rather than his show. You wanna keep taking these other N as money, the singer asked, and not showing love to the community. That ST week is FK. Ray J also criticized Jaguar Wright for not communicating with him when he previously tried to book her. He's got everybody on tape. They all know it. Jaguar Wright recently claimed to have video from Diddy's purported freak-off parties on Piers Morgan's Uncensored show. Everything that I'm about to say to you is not my first-hand knowledge. It is my first-hand witness account experience. I was a sex worker. I was a dominatrix before I got my record deal. That's how I know how the dark world and the sex world and the entertainment world run hand in hand. That's why the movie Blink Twice is so important. Salute to Zoe Kravitz. Jaguar Wright's allegations continued. The sex workers that I have worked with throughout the years, and continue to work with even to this day, have worn hidden cameras. I have my own taste. I've seen what they do. The ritualistic behaviors, drugging, putting girls in suitcases. Dumping them in alleyways. It's horrifying. And it's all done under the protection of this is going to be paid off. There's another NDA. It's terrible. It's terrible, Jaguar Wright alleged. Everyone knows. Everyone knows. And every person that's sitting there trying to act surprised knows very well. The whole point of this, like Cat Williams said when he sat with Shay Shay earlier this year, is for them in a coordinated effort to pretend like none of it is real. For four years, I've been screaming, not just Diddy, but Diddy and Jay-Z are monsters. Making outrageous accusations about the entertainment industry is nothing new for Jaguar Wright. The victim-making machine kept going on. Wright talked about Diddy's contentious court struggle and the numerous accusations that have been leveled against him in recent months throughout the conversation. But in her opinion, there are other people that the public ought to be paying more attention to. That's what he does. He starts little fires everywhere. She alleged. Morgan took this opportunity to note how Jay-Z has stayed quiet about the disturbing allegations Diddy is currently facing. 
Wright says this shouldn't come as a surprise, but insists that silence is no longer an option for him. Forces everyone involved to go and carry water while he sneaks away without a response. That change is now, Sean. Wright continued, accusing Jay-Z of having ties to various infamous men. Harvey Weinstein, Jeffrey Epstein, Robert Kelly, Sean Combs have one person in common. Professionally and privately, Sean Carter Jay-Z, she alleged. This has been a fist of tyranny punching through our culture for decades. It must stop. Morgan went on to bring up ongoing allegations of misogyny and hip-hop and to ask Wright how dangerous she actually believes Diddy is. I think he's one of the most dangerous people I've ever met. I would never take a picture with the devil. Everyone knew he was the devil. He's been the devil for 30 years.